If you looked up how to add a new fill in Illustrator, then you've come to the right place. I'm gonna show you three different ways here in Illustrator that I would add a new fill to my objects. You can add fills to objects, shapes, and even text. A fill is basically your object colored in and what that color is. There's also a stroke which goes around your object. Now every object has a fill and a stroke. You can see those over here at the bottom of your tool panel. Right now, this object has a red fill and no stroke. I could change this color just by double clicking on that fill. I could maybe change it to blue, for instance, and hit OK. Another way that I can change the fill, if I already have objects that are the colors that I want, like I want this blue to be this circle also, if I select the circle I want to change the fill or color on, I can press the I key. That's the eyedropper tool. You'll see it highlighted here in your tool panel. And then I can click on the color I want, and it'll pull that fill over. Now keep in mind, it'll pull the fill and the stroke both. In this case, there's no stroke, so it just pulled the fill. Now this works with text as well. If I switch back to my selection tool, the shortcut key for that is V, and I could select multiple objects even, like both of these pieces of text, double click my fill, and go and make them red. I could also press I for the eyedropper tool and pull a fill from a different object, just like that, with both these selected. So no matter if it's an object, text, anything like that, they all work the same. Now the last way that you might be looking to do is to add a new swatch color. So if I select this circle, go up to window, down to swatches, it's gonna pull open my swatch panel. You'll see a lot of different fill options here some default ones, some default gradients. You can actually add new colors if you want, or you can select them from here. If I would like this yellow, I could just click on the yellow with that shape selected, or with multiple shapes selected, I could change that to this one, and everything I have selected will change to that. If you wanna add a new fill, just click this plus icon right here. It'll add a new swatch. I like to create global swatches, because when you change them, they'll change every object that uses that swatch, which is really nice. So if I wanted to add an orange, swatch, I could hit OK, and it's added that in right here. I can actually click and drag that to arrange it, so now it's at the end. I could even have it selected, create a new color group with the selected artwork, so every swatch or color within the artwork that you have selected, or with the selected swatch, which we have this orange selected. I could name it and hit OK. Now I have a group of new fills that I've created just for this document. So if I wanted this piece of text to have this fill, all I have to do is select the text, click on that fill. So if you already have colors in your document, just select them and you can hit the plus icon to add that color as a swatch. You might notice that you don't get the same color picker. So if you like picking your colors by double clicking this and kind of selecting them this way, you can do that first and then add a new swatch so you can add that color in. You'll see the RGB values, the hex code. You can hit OK, it adds it. You can drag it to the new group you have and put it inside that group. So you can keep things organized in that way. Now the last thing I'll show you, there's a properties panel on the right hand side. So if I have an object selected, I also see the fill and stroke over here. And yes, I can click on this fill. It'll actually be like a shortcut to my swatches panel. And I can select colors from in here. I can choose different options. There's swatch libraries you can select from. This ancient art history library basically opens up this swatch panel here. And there's just more colors that are default and readily available here in Illustrator if you don't just select your own. Anyway, that's how to add a new fill here in Illustrator.